Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. In today's episode, we are going to continue deeper into Brio Fire and fight a boss. And it should be a very interesting boss fight because it's the hardest one we've had so far. Like, we've had that many boss fights to begin with. Ow! You want to conserve your energy coming up to this boss fight, too, because this is the first boss fight that you've been able to do with Hyper Mode, and the game fully expects you to use Hyper Mode for the boss. Oh, right, we don't have uh, that power-up yet. Whatever. Uh, did that guy go into Hyper Mode? Nope. Ah! Fuel Gel! Where is that guy? And that's why I hate fighting in close quarters. Wow, that was way too much health lost. Now I really would like to get some health drops from these guys. That was awful. Well, there's probably going to be an outtake reel for this one as well. Because I do not have anywhere near enough health. Okay, Temple of Brio. Where are we? Yep, we're here. I think there's pirates we got to fight here too, so that's going to be annoying. I don't think they throw uh, commandos at you for a while. But you see what I mean by abusing and taking advantage of corrupt hyper mode? I got a bunch of phase on out of it. Run this. What's up, man? Huh? Run this. Don't you recognize me? Unfortunately, run this is corrupted. And we gotta take him on. I love this boss music, by the way. I'll link you to it uh, in the video description. If you get frozen, tap the jump button repeatedly. And just stay mobile. Okay, once you break his armor, you gotta hurry up and grapple him. Grapple him into... Damn it! I think I was too close to him. Yeah, I had to have been too close to him, that was it. I think those are destructible, yeah they are, and they can drop health too. Was I not close enough to him or something? Ideally you want him on the ground when you uh, deliver the last hit to him. I haven't even 
gotten to show like how you damage him. Because right now we're not dealing damage to him. When an enemy flashes yellow, you're doing uh, temporary damage to them. There we go. Okay, once you break his armor, go into hyper mode. Because you don't have a lot of time to deal damage to him. Try to get... There we go, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I wanted to try to finish him off though, because once he's once he's at low health, he gets really dangerous. I don't know if you can see it, but now Rundus is in hyper mode. He gains some new attacks as well. Holy shit! Wow, this guy just wrecked me in a hurry. There's one particular attack where he'll basically swing a giant a giant club of ice at you. And if you get hit by that, wow, this guy is wow, this guy's spamming. He'll stand on one of these ice platforms, create a giant ice club, and you need to this is it. You need to dodge this attack, because this can do an entire energy tank of damage on Hyper Mode. Oh, he's doing it again. Crap! I did not want to leave him at low health for this reason. Basically, you need to side dodge out of the way. Okay. Okay, go, 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 go! Got ya! Whew! I almost let that one get away from me. Now this should show you just how merciless Hyper Mode can be. Wow, that's gotta be a way to go. Getting gutted with your own ice. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing we can do to save Rundus from his corruption. He's just gonna give up the ghost and get absorbed into Dark Samus. Just like all the Guardians from Metroid Prime 2. In any case, gold credit for defeating Rundus, and we get a new power-up, the Ice Missiles. I don't understand why they give you Ice Missiles in this game, probably to make missiles more useful, but I remember in... Uh, I remember in Fusion, when they give you Ice Missiles, they actually have a plot reason to do it. I personally like the Ice Beam a little bit better. But, given the, given the way the power-ups work in this game, I could see why they would give you Ice Missiles. I thought I'd turn the hidden system off. Yeah, I thought I turned the hit system off. Sorry, guys, I must not have. I'm going to go switch it off now. Uh, where's the hit system? Yeah, it is off. I wonder why it was giving me the hint then. It should have been off. I guess maybe after a while it just it just refreshes here. Yeah, I don't understand. I have the hint system off. It shouldn't be giving me hints. saw something else. Well, in any case, isn't there lore over here? Oh, no, there isn't. Um, 
There should be a button back here somewhere that I can use to activate these pumps. Oh, it's right here. Okay. There we go. Now you may be wondering what this does. Remember the power-up we just got? We just got ice missiles. Anytime you see fuel gel out, uh, like flying outward like that, you can use ice missiles to freeze the fuel gel and use it as a platform. But be careful on hyper mode because the, these platforms do not stay frozen for very long. Oh, this guy went into hyper mode. And right over here, I believe there's some lore over here too. My memory serves. Oh, I guess it's for the shield generator. Whatever, I thought it was lore. Well, in any case, you guys are in hyper mode too? Is there more over here? Oh, there's lore. I already scanned that. Uh, is there another lore thing over here? No. Uh, however, uh, past here is the shield generator, but you won't be able to access it directly. And it's made of Mightium. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a weapon that can break Mightium, so we're going to have to come back here once we have a certain upgrade later. Clearly, this is the source of the energy signature we detected. This generator is supplying power to the Leviathan's protective shield. You will be unable to destroy the generator with your current weapons. You must find a weapon capable of penetrating the generator's heavy armor. And that weapon is located back in uh, Cliffside Brio, if memory serves. Now you may remember those, uh, those, uh, that those cas that cascading fuel gel structure. You might remember that that is present in another place in Brio. So what I'm just gonna do, um, I'm actually gonna show you a quick way to get back to the beginning of Brio. Uh, take care of these guys first, though, because they're really annoying. And this is showing how I keep track of how much time I've been in hyper mode and going out before I corrupt when I fight regular enemies. And there will be enemies respawning in this place. You will need to fight them uh, every time you come back in, because that door will be locked. That they are replaced with progressively stronger, anno per more annoying, and stronger enemies every time uh, you have to go back in there for the plot. Oh, this guy! This guy has a shield. You need to rip it off with uh, the grapple beam, <laughs> and then blast him. Watch out for pirates with shields. I think hyper mode can break them, but I can't remember for sure. But now that we have ice missiles, we can freeze these uh, cascading fuel gel points. Uh, let's get rid of this guy before he becomes a problem. I don't remember this guy being here on Veteran. I think that guy only shows up on Hyper Mode. Not this, not this enemy in general, but the one in that particular position, I believe, shows up only on Hyper Mode. Now, if you freeze that, you can go over to this special uh, statue over here, bomb up and you'll get sucked in. And this is actually a one-way warp. This will take you back to the beginning of Brio Fire, and you will get, uh, if I hadn't already got it in a previous playthrough, you will get a friend voucher for discovering a new area. I can't get it because I've already got it on this file, but in any case, uh, I think that'll about wrap it up for this episode of Let's Play Metroid Prime 3. Next time, we're going to head back to Cliffside Brio. Um, where do I want to meet you guys?
Uh, actually, I think I'm just going to meet you at the starting point, because there's a couple items we can get. Uh, I'll end the video off with another status report from our ship. See you later.